All right, here's a quick video of four different instruments that I have. These two have a scope on them, um, but they all read you know, AC and DC voltage. I've been having an issue with this particular uh, instrument right here. This is the Velamin uh, HPS 140i. If you're looking at a, a sine wave, like an AC sine wave on either one of these, if you're looking at like a 40 hertz or a thousand hertz uh, test tone, the wave looks exactly the same on each one of these. It will show you the same clipping, uh, the same distortion, if there's any distortion. Uh, the only difference is this one has a much higher resolution, so uh, the distortion, the clipping is much, much more clear. But this is extremely usable. Um, the only issue is the, the voltage reading on this one's incorrect, so that's what I'm getting ready to show you. So um, to show you that, we're just, it's got a little AA battery. My probe doesn't really stretch that far, so it's kind of hard for me to get it on there just right. But this is the DC measurement down here. I should, probably should have made it bigger, but you can see it comes in at 1.609, 1.610. And then if I use my Fluke uh, 115, I get the uh, same exact measurements. 1.608. So within a thousandth, I got this uh, Southwire 10020N from Lowe's. Uh, it's just a cheap one. And you can see it's off by a few thousandths, but I mean, still, still will give you an accurate uh, reading for the most part. And then to get all these out of the way, as far as the DC. Uh, measurement that it gives see I have it set to DC and I have it set to you know voltage DC at the bottom so that's what this is right here when I go to measure this you can see that's off by quite a bit so everything else is coming in at 1.609 roughly um, but this one added quite a bit of voltage to it again nothing like too serious but I actually used this to set the voltage on my audio control matrix plus line driver and I set it with this and the signal was coming out clean and it was coming out um, I had it set for four volts coming out of my line driver but then when I went to go uh, you know check everything with my 105 B it was coming in at five volts so um, I think the higher the voltage the more that number skewed I have the trigger adjusted on here correctly um, there's a little uh, test tone or test wave you can use in the back to help set the trigger to make sure it's accurate. You can see I have it set perfectly. So yeah, I'm hoping that this unit is just effective and that it's just, or maybe I have a bad unit or maybe it's not uncommon for the voltage to be off by that much. But I mean, it's off by quite a bit. And again, um, when I was using this to test my line driver, it was apparently off by an entire volt when I was um, doing AC uh, testing for AC voltage. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you a couple of tools that I have um, and show the differences between them and how accurately close they all are. Um, but this one right here is is not so close. The Velman HPS 140i, and yeah, that's it.